Hello, YouTube. It's Pizza Seven on Twitter and YouTube. Pizza everywhere else. Purple Butterfly Dash Pizza dot Blockspot dot com. I have been asked how I do this hairstyle. I call it my double fritz roll. Um, I'm gonna take a turn to take it for you. And it is so simple with one of these videos, shouldn't even take five minutes. What you're going to do is start by making the basic overhanded French row in the back, or uh, French braid rather. You can actually use a regular braid if it's your preference, because it's your head. Now, we're going to take this part of yours. Hold on. On a few times, you'll see me use a brush. Um, you want to start with straight hair or freshly washed hair or if you're using curly hair just make sure that it's at least this long and what you're going to do basically I'm doing it with straight hair well partially straight hair just so you can see what I'm doing when you get to the end of your front braid you're going to braid it to its um, eternity Roll your finger and tuck it into the stuff. Now, if your hair isn't very long, you're going to want to have a couple of bobby pins on hand. But I don't use bobby pins 90% of the time. I did get some different care and even. Anyway, what you're going to do, you want to make sure that your part is from ear to ear. It could be a little more or a little less. It depends on your prefer personal preference. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to make what looks like a repeat of the braid in the front. So you're going to start at the far end, part it at like an angle. Let me make sure it's no scraggly hair. And you're going to pull it up and tuck it into any opening on the side of the French braid. Make sure that's not clean. Then you're going to do the same thing on this side. See that? And tuck it into any opening you find of the face of French braid. Then you're going to come back. Same thing. You're parting at an angle. Sometimes I don't even part it. Just grab the section and go. And you're tucking. Oh, and you're doing this loosely, by the way. The tuck might be tight, but the hair itself, for the canopy, you want it to actually be loose. Because otherwise, when you turn your head to do stuff, it's going to be real painful. And you're going back and forth like that. And what this does is give the look of a braid. So, tucking it in. And from the left, the next one is from the right. And just tuck it from there. Now, this last part I either leave out, but I know I'm be driving today and I don't want to find my hair. Or you go ahead and do the same thing that you do with the rest. Now, you're going to make sure that any fringes on the side are not um, sticking up in the way. I just take a body pin and just use it to tuck into the hair. You can use the end of a rat to comb to get the same effect. And now I'm just going to use my fingers to make sure everything's tucked in. And that's it. That's how I got the cell. By the end of the day, sometimes it's flush in the middle, which gives it a little bit of a point, but that just makes it look more like, hey, she refreshed the braid. And if you're wanting people to just have to anchor a bobby pin, find where you made the roll with the original French and where the first one tucked in and put a bobby pin like right on the side of it. That's just for security. That's not actually holding anything because it's technically floating. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So I will go with wherever the biggest artery is from the braid. Stick a bobby pin in and just slide it. That comes in handy also if you have a couple of straight hairs that like to come loose. And guess what? We are finished. That's how you do my double French row. 
you look real close, it looks like a braid going up here. And, of course, you got the braid going there, so that actually is a braid. And then the connection in the center just looks really cute. Y'all stay blessed. Peace and seven.